So we, we have Void tonight. We have uh, we have we saw K9. We saw K9. Uh, yet again, a lot of strong players. But right. here we go. Wolf versus Pichu. Yet again, Pichu's speed and combo ability. You no, know, can it really overcome Wolf's just absolute kill power? Yeah. Not to mention Pichu's great edge guarding ability. Uh, that down air, that thunder, just carrying anything off Wolf off stage. Like Wolf has to play super solid and neutral in this matchup just to be able to keep Pichu from just taking a stock in one hit. All right. But you know what, all these Thunder Jolts you know, adds up over time, but you know what, he gets a grab, manages just to throw him a little bit, but honestly not able to combo a whole lot off of it. You know, I figure like with Pichu, if you get grabbed, you get stuck into that Vortex almost like Fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after the patch, like, the amount of like opportunities you get with Pichu is so much less now uh, that if you're trying to control space with those T Jolts or just any electric move, like you're gonna get stuck in these situations where you're at high percent the whole time and get killed by things like forward tilt when you even haven't been hit that much. Right. But ooh, that forward smash, no, nearly taking the stock right there, but unfortunately no rage. So I like what he's trying to do. He's trying to go for all these baits, but you know what? Uh, Jensuko's just holding shield, knowing that like you know what? I know you're gonna throw out a button because you're Pikachu and or not Pikachu, yeah. Pichu. But like that's the other thing. Like Pichu's love to like hit your shield and then they throw up like a tilt or like down smash, and then all you have to do is just wait those out and then either depending on the move that they throw out, punish it or just roll away and just kind of avoid Pichu like that. But you know. Weighty kind of cleaning up the stock right there, only at 54%, but you know what? 54% <laughs> is enough for him to die. Oh my gosh, Pichu is so light. <laughs> Wolf is crazy. And again, quick combo right there, gets the forward throw. Looking for the tech chase, but you know what? Pichu is just going to jump out of it. And yet again, baiting him out with that forward smash. You know, you got to realize that if Wolf, holds, if Wolf throws out a forward smash, you know he's going to throw out another move immediately afterwards. It's probably another forward smash or another forward tilt, so never punish the first forward smash. Always try to just punish the move that comes after yeah. it. Kind of similar to what you're saying about Pichu. Both these characters have really low lag buttons, so oftentimes they'll throw out a second button. And, it's just like and there's that second <laughs> button, you know. Yet again, Weighty just being a little bit too hasty for the uh, punish on the end there. You know, especially when you're playing against Wolf, who's a very neutral heavy character, you know. He's yeah. all about, like, I'm going to hit you with either this back air. And the back air is not fast, but it auto cancels. It's kind of like a Meta Knight forward smash in the air, you know. Yeah. Not not a whole lot of, uh, like, yeah. startup. Like, or, but like, or, like, sorry. Not there's a, a lot of startup, startup, but, but after not, you do it, yeah, there's, there's like not no, much to punish. Yeah, exactly. And in general, Wolf is just very good at, like, throwing out those bigger hitboxes to keep you out. Right. And with Pichu, who's racking up damage on himself while also taking damage from those big boxing hitboxes, you have to make every neutral win count super right. hard. And right now, Wadey's just not getting that much off of his neutral wins to make right. it make Pichu count. And again, the, the, the bread and butters of Pichu, you know, is all about keeping your opponent in the air. And I feel like, especially against Wolf or characters with, like, very susceptible recoveries, you need to, as Pichu, focus on how can you keep them, A, in the air, or B, throw them off stage so you can go for an edge guard. Yeah, and what Pichu's super good at is, like, forcing you to DI in when you play these kinds of characters so that way you can keep getting juggled by these moves. Right. And just taking them over and over again or force them to DI out and then edge guard them. But right now he's just not getting those loops. There we go, quick back throw off stage. No. Oh, I like that using the reflector to kind of punish the T jolt that he threw out there to cover his recovery. And again, all these unsafe thunder jolts, and you know what? I like what he did there, just the grab release, and gets the punish with the up smash out of shield. And again, both players are now kind of like playing that neutral game. And there we go, gets a read on the spot dodge with that forward smash. And, uh,. Nitsuko's been using a lot of the actual the reflector to deal with the T-Jolts. It's working out super all Ooh. right. <laughs> that is rough Ooh. for Wadey. Oh my god, that, that is brutal. Yeah. And he hit the wall too. And yeah. Honestly, that might have not been techable. Wolf Flash is so strong. I mean, for the percent that he was at, it was definitely techable. I just, I didn't think he expected it. I didn't expect it to spike yeah. like that. So, yet again, I mean, even when you don't think you need a tech, Always try to tech it because, at the very least, like you're gonna buffer what an air dodge. Yeah, when you're so far away. Right. But yeah, this is. I would say near impossible for Wadey. Like he would have to play absolutely perfect, not get hit once with how much percent does. Ooh, and yet again, catching the regular getup with that forward smash. No. Jensuko really showing his his punish game, and I feel like what Wadey really needs to do in the matchup is just kind of wait for Wolf to approach him. I feel like he was pressing way too many buttons trying to force the situation, 